for it. And they, not only do they incomplete pass or a penalty, they lose the football. Out to the 20 yard line. Out to the 20 yard line in Wyoming. It costs us, a, costs us seven points. 27 26. Brigham Young back in front with 8.39 left to go. Well, the BYU offense reestablished itself on the field on that drive. Now we'll see if the defense can do so because the Cowboys moved the ball very nicely to score right at the start of this quarter to take the lead. It's 27 26 BYU. Johnson kicking off and kicks it for a taken to the two yard line. Back to the five, to the 10, to the 15. Getting outside. He's out to the 30. Up to the 40 yard line and boy that Cowboy special unit team has played well really doing well that, that wasn't a lot of opening there but they got the thing right up the middle a little wedge going kind of broke up the middle and then uh, who was that running back Jay Steve Heyman uh, made the tackle and I didn't get the ball carrier 25 that is uh, Kevin Lowe Kevin Lowe makes a nice move back outside here and Steve Heyman saves it first and 10 Wyoming on their own 39 yard line nice play by Steve Heyman to save the touchdown. Runyon at quarterback. Send a man in motion, gives to his fullback. He's met at the line of scrimmage, gains three. And they'll take that. A three point, I mean, that three yard uh, gain with the fullback, they want to establish it like we've been talking about all game, and that's their play. In three yards, they'll take that right now. Kurt Set Gavea. Up the outside option. Kurt Gavea made the tackle on Dave Evans. So it is second and seven. Is this the, most, Wyoming. Po is this the most points that a uh, team has scored against the Cougars all year so far, Jay? I think it is 26, isn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Second down call. Runyon still with the ball. Now pitches it back. BYU comes up with a big defensive play this time. Runyon was hit as he pitched it back. And then the fullback, or the running back, Abraham, as he got it, was swarmed all over. Kurt Gavea leading the way. Kurt Gavea, just the same kind of athlete Leon White is. There's Jim Herman forcing the bad pitch. And there's Kirk Gouveia. That's exactly where they defense it. Jim Herman has the quarterback. Kirk Gouveia has the pitch. And if it all works well, that's exactly what should happen every time. So they lose yardage back to the 35. Where it'll be third down. Now, wait a minute. The officials are talking to the BYU there's a flag player. down. Cougars may well take the down this time. Jim Herman, the team captain, talking to the referee. Holding is a call. It'll be declined by BYU. To make a third down and 14. Look for Novacek. He made two great plays before, and it's third and 14. Uh, look for him to, or out there, fast guy, uh, number 83 out there. That's Griffin. Griffin running the wishbone, third and 14. Runyon with the ball, fakes the handoff back to throw. He's wide right open. On the sidelines, has a man there for the big first down throw. That's Novacek again, wide open on the throwback. Same thing that happened last time. And uh, they're just getting uh, fooled into that option, and uh, Runyon drops back, and uh, Novacek is downfield. Easy, Mark, easy completion. Mark Allen finally uh, gets to him, but Novacek comes up with the reception. You bet. The whole flow of the play is to the right side, and Novacek goes back all alone at the sidelines, and he's a great athlete. I don't think he's going to miss too many of those. First down for the Cowboys on the BYU 43-yard line. It's the running play to the fullback. They stand him up as he gets down to the 41 yard line. Dave Evans. There's three and a half yards again. That's what they want out of that fullback. Now the second down play can't lose 10 like last time. Brad Smith made this stop for BYU. <laughs> We're halfway through the third quarter. 7.13 to go. And it's 27-26 BYU leading, but the Cowboys on the move. Look Have for one of those uh, counter plays, Jay, or something that's worked earlier that uh, they've been very successful at. Second and seven on the 40. Runyon with the ball, does give it up the middle. He breaks a tackle, breaks another one, and is all the way to the 33-yard line. Nice run that time by Wyoming's uh, Toriano Taylor, who's only a freshman. I'll tell you, Taylor made a great move, spinning off. You don't see that out of a fullback too often out of the wishbone. Here they give it to him. He spins off the big pile up here. Brad Smith has a hand on him. Leon White's right there. He spins off that group. Here comes Steve Heyman. He'll spin off this next guy. And then they have to all kind of gang tackle him down for a first down. That's a big play. First down, Wyoming on the Brigham Young 32-yard line. Runyon still with the football. Turns inside and is tripped up. Kurt Gavea for BYU tripped him up. 
And Kerry Whittingham there also. That time, Gilvey has got the quarterback, and this time he wanted to play with him, see if he could intercept the pitch or something. Almost got beat inside by the quarterback, uh, Runyon cutting up inside of him. He's got to be careful of that. Second and seven for the Cowboys. On the 28th, there's the Cowboy bench. They are excited. They've got to be excited. Well. BYU leads them by only one point. Runyon, there's that, that trout. counter play. All the way to the 20 yard line, inside the 20 yard line. Good hard run by Kevin Lowe, who's a senior. Kyle Morrell tackled him. There's that counter play they've been really successful at. There's a trap. They come across, the right guard comes across. You'll see the replay. The right guard will come across and trap Jim Herman, 92. It pushes him outside. The hole's back inside. They wall off Kerry Whittingham. It's just down Mark Allen and uh, Kyle Morrell have got to make the stop. Jay, do we have any kind of statistics on their field goal kicker? Is he a uh, pretty. Pretty good kicker or not? Yeah, he's pretty good. Well, he's one of three this year. One of three. One of three. First and ten on the 16-yard line. Runyon with the football, looking to throw. Throws for the end zone. It's cut short of the end zone, down on the three-yard line. That's another great play. They come off that, that counter play they just ran. They run the same play, but the quarterback keeps it outside. Alan Griffin caught it. Puts a, Kyle Morrell's down. Is he hurt? Oh, he's back up. He's tough. Well, the Cowboys have a first and goal then on the three yard line. And they have really been moving the ball on BYU and on a defense that's one of the best in the country. But this still is not an easy scoring position for because the Cougars have stopped the Wyoming once before in the same spot. We'll see what they can do. Griffin with the ball running the option. Oh, has he hit this time? I'll tell you, Jay, I don't think the option is down. There's a play down here inside the three because the Cougars just. They, they find out which way he's going. They've got to run a counter play or something. They don't want to get down to a fourth down fourth down position. They've got to score here in the next two downs. Kyle Morrell and Kerry Whittingham hit him. Here you'll see the replay, and they're just bunched up, and he has nowhere to go. Whittingham, Kyle Morrell right there coming up from the free safety. See, Kyle doesn't have to play against the pass here. He's not got nothing behind him. He can just fly up and make the play. That's the option I don't think is the play here. Second and goal on the four-yard line. That's the counter play, and he's going to be close to the end zone. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> Here comes a third and inches again. Jeff Westfall. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's that same counter play where we're kicking Jim Herman out on the trap, and you'll see the ground level play right here. Here comes a the trap. There goes their guard kicking out Jim, kicking out Kurt Gouvet up the middle, and it looks like Brad Smith makes a saving tackle. Marv Allen. Boy, I'll too. tell you, that's close. Look at it rested on the goal line. They got two plays here. I think if they're not sure about what they're doing, call a timeout and think about it. Looks like they are sure about it. But let's get in because they can't afford to not get in this time. Third and goal on the six inch line. It's a pitch back to Westfall, and he made it just barely, but he did. Oh boy. So the Cowboys have the lead for the second time in the third quarter. Wyoming 32, Brigham Young 27, and we got a tennis match going. And there's no. Uh, Fake plays going on here. They're just grounding it out, playing great football and great drives. Here's the replay. It's just a pitch out. It's a power sweep, which I think is a great call down here. And he just topples over into the end zone. Looks like Steve Heyman wanted to keep him out again. The Cowboys leading by five. They again will try for a two point conversion. They failed the last time, same as BYU did. Someone's got to make one of these conversions here. Going to throw for it, does, and it is knocked away by Kyle Morrell. So it does not work. And with 3.59 to play in the third quarter, it's Wyoming 32, Brigham Young 27. And Jay, I'll guarantee you that they look back at the end of this game. If they lose it, they'll point at those two two point conversions because that's four points they've missed already. Mark Allen put a lot of pressure on that play, too, for BYU. Well, it's going to be up to the Cougar offense again. The Cowboys were able to come through. They just moved. Let's see. Here are some statistics. Wyoming 115 yards passing, 144 rushing for 259 total, but they have 32 points. BYU has 320 passing, 95 rushing for 415 total. Five minutes, 30 seconds, nine plays to go 61 yards for the Cowboys. And that kickoff return set it up for him. It sure did. It got him out in a good field position. You know, Jay, you don't see you see the 320 yards for passing, but only 95 rushing. To me, BYU's got to establish that uh, that rushing game again because they're going to get in a situation maybe here in the fourth quarter where that passing game's just not going too well. They have to rely on the running game, and if it's not well established, they don't feel good about it. It could cost them a ball game. Now we'll have to watch out, see how they if they keep 
uh, being successful throwing the ball, but I really believe they've got to go to go 12 and 0 like their goal is. They've got to get that running game going. Well, the BYU team down by five points now, just under four minutes to play in the third quarter. As the Wyoming Cowboys have bounced back, they were down 14 nothing. Down by a point at halftime, they've led twice here in the second half. The kickoff this time comes to Parker, two yards deep. Going to run it out. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, up to the 34-yard line. Robert Parker. So BYU will start in pretty good field position. Well, I tell you, they're kicking it down to the left corner of the end zone, and the whole Wyoming team is just flooding over to that side, and all he's got to do is beat about a couple of guys, and they've beat that big rush of Wyoming guys. They've got to keep their, their lanes and cover the whole field. You'll see the, there's probably eight guys down inside that uh, on the left side of your screen and no one out to the right side. Alan Griffin, their speedster, wide receiver, caught up with him and tackled him. BYU first and 10 for the Cougars on their own 34-yard line. Robbie Bosco back to pass on first down. Here's the pass complete to Mills. So Mills is back in the game down at the 38 yard line. We got a penalty. That's in a position where there's either uh, offensive pass interference, defensive pass and a lot of things that could be called right there. Mike Hill made the stop. Kozlowski's over listening in on the conversation as the BYU team captain. I think it's holding against the defense. Uh, defensive holding. Looks like it is against Wyoming. That's the initial read. Yeah, it's defensive holding. You know, you saw some BYU players pointing over that direction from the bench. Yeah. I think they saw a player held. Sometimes that can help when your pole bench is screaming at the referee. Maybe sometimes he listens a little bit more than other times. So here's the 10-yard uh, walk-off, and that's a first down. Cougars will have the ball at the 44-yard line with 3.36 to play. In the third quarter, and Wyoming leads 32 to 27. Holding on the defense. First down. First down. First down. Kozlowski wide to the right for BYU. Or wide to the left. Bosco will pass on first down. Throws it upfield to Mills at the 43 yard line, and that was a well thrown pass. That was. That's one of the ones he's been throwing into the ground the first half, and he threw it like a bullet right to David Mills, that same play where he just goes down 10 yards, turns around inside the linebackers. We've talked about it the last five games. They run it so many times, it's unbelievable. Ten and, Bells uh, are tackled him. Yeah, and uh, it's just an easy 10 yards if they can just keep it going. Steve, here are two very good defenses, and they're giving up a lot of points. I tell you, it's unbelievable. Two tight end offense for the, the Cougars this time. You see David Mills and Trevor Molini in the game. And uh, they can run a lot of different things off uh, this, this, uh, this formation. It's almost like Carlton State's one back offense, exactly like it, in fact. First and 10 on the 43 yard line. There's the pitch to Haymuli. Haymuli turning the corner. He cuts inside. He's all the way to the 30 yard line. Nice run by Lakay Haymuli. A sweep to the right side. That and time, both Gosar the, again made the stop. Both the tight ends went to the right, the right side. They're both out there on a sweep. It gets them an extra guy to block, and I think that's what broke it for the, for the sweep. Lockheed's got to be careful with that football. Louis Wong threw a good block for BYU as he came around the corner. First and 10 Cougars on the Wyoming 31. Wyoming has 10 penalties for 96, BYU 6 for 63. First and 10 on the 31. Robbie to throw. Throws it under pressure. Has a man there! Mills catches a touchdown. He got a, a penalty flag, down. Jay, and I'm not sure what it is. It might be defensive holding, and I'm pretty sure it is. And I might, I'm sure the touchdown will count. We'll have to see what exactly the, the yeah. Well, BYU says it's a touchdown. The penalty is in the uh, Cowboy backfield, but Mills was all alone down there. And again, is holding on Wyoming, and Brigham Young has regained the lead. It's 33 to 32 Cougars. This reminds me a lot of the Air Force game a couple years ago when the uh, Air Force won at 38-37. The whole second half was just touchdown after touchdown, one after another. Here's David Mills coming. He'll come from the tight end spot and break out on a corner route, they call it. Robbie lets him fly, and no one even covers him. And uh, that makes touchdowns awful easy. Steve, whatever happened to him on that injury probably feels a lot better yeah, right I'm now. Sure he does. <laughs> They're going to go for two again. It'll be interesting what the call will be. This will be another big play because it's still, if they don't get this, the uh, field goal could still win the ball game. BYU ahead by a point now. 
Bosco rolling to the right, looking. Chase throws it into the end zone, but he threw it too far. It's caught by a cheerleader. So the Cougars do not make it. And the score will stay the same as neither team can get one of those two pointers. I two. tell you, field goal can win it now, and uh, there's still a whole quarter to go, a quarter and a couple minutes, but uh, both the offenses are just uh, going down the field at will. Took BYU a minute, 19, five plays, 65 yards. Here you'll see the touchdown from the end zone. Here you see David, David Mills, where's he coming from? He's coming from outside, he'll break out. He's, he's out of your screen, you don't see it. But the holding was, uh, looks like it was on the guy covering Mills and David just beat him. So Dave Mills scoring. The point the flag was dropped, uh, Steve, was upfield. Yeah, where a I cowboy think he was back beat. pushed him, but I, it didn't look like Maybe holding. that was what it was. Bosco has passed for 364 yards now. And Brigham Young leads 33 to 32 with 231 left to play in the third quarter. And here's a chance for Lee Johnson. What he'll do, I think, is what they've done in the past is they, he'll just pick out a guy right in front of him, one of those five Wyoming guys right in front of the lineman, and he'll just try to kick it right at him. And if it hits him and bounces back, then what, it's a live ball. Was there a penalty on the play? Yes. That, well, they'll count that uh, the holding oh, penalty. the holding penalty, the holding on, penalty the on the touchdown. On the kickoff. And what so, they'll do now, he'll just pick out a guy and try to hit him as hard as, it, hard as he can right at the guy, and maybe it'll bounce off him. And then the BYU can recover. And if it doesn't, it'll just go downfield, and they can uh, try to return it. You know, this game could well be decided. Here's the kick. It is kind of a line drive kick, but it goes out of bounds. I don't think he hit that one the way he wanted no. to. You know, Steve, the, thinking about this, this game could be one of those games where there's going to be a break someplace in the last 15 minutes. Right, and that's what a happened. A fumble, an interception, or something like that. Some kind of a turnover changes the whole complexion of the game. Well, he kicked it out of bounds, so that's illegal procedure on BYU. You know, Jay, another so thing is back uh, five. if uh, a bad field position could change the complexion of the game. Both teams are enjoying great field position at the start of their drives. As soon as someone gets stuck down inside their five-yard line, that could change the whole complexion of the game also. So field position is very important. Brigham Young 33, Wyoming 32 is the score with 2.31 left to go. Got a little bit of time on the field right now. The Cowboys may elect to take the ball where it went out of bounds, which is not too bad field position. No, I think that's a great play because uh, Lee still kicks off from the 45-yard line. Give them a first down on their own 27-yard line. Our thanks to the BYU Cougar Club for the support we receive from them, providing funding for our KBYU telecast. You, the members of the Cougar Club, are what make these telecasts possible with the major portion of funding coming from you. Thank you. First down play. Runyon with the ball to the fullback to the 30-yard line. That's the, been the opening play on every series, I think. They're gaining half. yards at it, about four yards a crack, and it's opening up a lot of other things that they're doing, and that's the thing that their <laughs> offense is based on is establishing that fullback up the middle. Jim Herman tackling Dave Evans, the big senior fullback. Been kind of a hard luck player for the Cowboys. He was out most of last year with an injury. Time running out in the third quarter. 2.07 left to go. It is second down and seven for the Cowboys in their own 30. Runyon with the ball, rides it up the middle. A flag goes down. Fullback Evans, the fullback. Fullback was too fast. He left a little early. It'll be a five yard penalty against uh, Wyoming. They can't afford that now. Jim Herman making the stop for BYU. The only thing it is, Steve, put him back and it forces them to throw to Novacek. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't a bad play in itself. No. They're talking to Jim Herman. Could be a, a choice of third and about six or seven, or second and 12. Cougars will take the penalty, apparently. They will. Five yard walk off. And short penalties, those are these uh, yeah, motion, motion penalties. The I'm sorry, second interrupting the, the referee there. Second, <laughs> second, <laughs> yeah. he's second down. Those motion penalties, 12 and a half. Those motion see. penalties have really hurt the Cowboys so far today. Runyon, the quarterback, still has the football. Now there's the pitch back. It's fumbled. Free ball, it goes out of bounds. He made a bad choice, I think, really on the pitch did. that time. I think so, too. If there had been another yard uh, on the sideline, they might have turned it over. 
see Gavea plays it very well. He really does. He gets both uh, plays the quarterback and the pitch man, which is supposed to be impossible with the triple option, but he did a great athletic uh, move there. Third and about 14 for the Cowboys. With a minute 37 to play in the third quarter, they have the ball in their own 24. Runyon sprinting to the right, looking to throw, does throw, completes it. That should it, be a first down. I he think it'll be yardage. just enough. Completed it to Griffin, Alan Griffin, and again they come up with the big yardage on a third and down. A great play, a great play, and a great catch. Great throw by Runyon, and a super catch by uh, Griffin outside. They're going to stretch the change right here and see what they've got. They made it. Yep. Just the nose of the football past that bar. That was marked really well because uh, he did have the first down yardage. First and 10 for the Cowboys of their own 37. Big play for them. Anything bad happens on that one and they have to give up the football. A minute 32 to go. In the third period, the Cougars ahead by one, 33-32. Does give to the fullback. He doesn't make much this time of anything. Dave Evans, that's the same play they've used first down almost every play. Brad Smith and uh, is it Steve Heyman? Leon White. Leon White there for the Cougars. I'll tell you, Leon, I think he's got an S under his shirt today. He's playing everywhere. Second and nine for Wyoming at the 39. Brigham Young 33, Wyoming 32. We gain the lead as we enter the fourth quarter. Tim Gosar was the tackler of Kelly. Second down and four, a six yard gain. Richard Orr comes in with the play for BYU. Gets the Cowboys Cougars playing without Adam Haysbert today. Injured, has a, a knee and an ankle injury. Here's a second down play for the Cougars. Bosco back to throw. Over to Smith on the sidelines for the 40. And down right there. Well, I'll tell you, it looked like Kelly had a lot of room, but those Wyoming Cowboys are flying around on defense, making the big plays. And they're not, even though a guy might be open for a second, he's not open for long. It looked like he wanted to go downfield to Richard Orr on a corner route down around the 20-yard line and uh, readjusted his feet and threw it out to, uh, to Kelly. And Dane Ingram tackled him, a very good, strong safety. Third down for BYU and two on the Cowboy 41-yard line. Another big third down play, because I don't think in this territory, in this situation, Coach Edwards would go for the fourth down play. So they've got to get it here, or they're going to have to punt. Bosco back to throw. They're coming at him. The rush is on. He throws it left-handed, and it's caught by Haymuli, but Haymuli does not get back to the line of scrimmage. You know <laughs> that? Think, Robbie threw it left-handed. I think he just kind of unloaded it, not knowing where it was going to go, and Lockay just happened to be there. Now, here's the Coach Edwards. You know that he's not going to go for it. He's not that kind of a guy. Alan Griffin covering. Or check that. Ted Story, the defensive end, was the one to put the pressure on, so BYU will punt. And so the Cowboys have finally broken serve. There's a replay, and you'll see, I think Robbie just wanted to unload it and just get an incomplete pass, and just Lockett happened to be a lineman there, blocking for him, turned around and caught the ball. 12-0-3 to play in this game, and Wyoming leads 38-33, to and Lee Johnson will kick from his 41-yard line. Jay Shumway, the deep snapper. Here's the kick. Kicks it pretty high. Fair catch the signal at the 11-yard line. Handled there. Okay. I think that's a very good play by that uh, deep back. You notice Lockheed Hamuli uh, limping off the field. He's limping on the sidelines. We'll have to see how he progresses. Well, now it's up to the BYU defense. There's a big break in the second half. That's the first time someone's had to punt other than the first drive that BYU had in the first half and the start of the second half. So maybe Wyoming's got to take advantage of it and get the extra touchdown. Wyoming ahead, 38-33, 11:46 to play in the football game. Runyon at quarterback. Still has the ball, passes, completes it. Novacek over the middle. I think that's a great play. They've kind of left him alone for a while. He's such a great athlete. Get the ball to him as much as possible. Jeff Sprouls tackles him. Cowboys playing good there ball. Is just the option, fakes the option, and just stands up and hits him right up there. And that's tough to defense right through Larry Hamilton's hands. 
See, now that puts him out of, that's the worst field position Wyoming started on. Now it puts him second and one. That's right where they want to be. Second and one on the 20-yard line. They're playing perfect football offensively in the second half. There's a running play for the first down with Gerald Abraham, a freshman, shooting through and getting the first down yardage. You know, Jay, I'm really impressed with this running. The quarterback, a freshman, walks in after Gosnell gets hurt last week, comes in and plays the number five team in the nation. I don't care what happens from here on out. He's been impressive throwing the ball. He's run the option well. He's led the team well. And, uh, you know, I'm really impressed with the guy. Marv Allen, the tackler on Abraham on the last play. So the Cowboys have a first down on the BYU 23, on their own 23-yard line. Off to the left side, and they open a tremendous hole and carry it out to the 36-yard line. It looks like the Wyoming offensive line is just beating the defensive line off the ball, opening holes for their fullback. And that's number 34. What's his name, Jay? That's Toriano Taylor, the freshman. That's right, another freshman. He's the one that made those spinning moves uh, a couple of drives ago that set up a touchdown. And they're really breaking the holes up the middle, and that's what they love. They like to see that fullback established because their offense is keyed on that. Marv Allen and Dave Knapp are the tacklers. First and 10, Wyoming on their own 36. Here's the fullback, a big hole off the left side, out to the 47-yard line, and they're chewing him up. Kyle Morrell tackling Dave Evans. That might have been a touchdown-saving tackle by Kyle Morrell, really sure-handed. I'd like, if there's going to be a touchdown-saving tackle, I want Kyle Morrell involved, but... Uh...